Hi, welcome to Real Magic Review. This is a Bravo Loops by Looch. <laughs> Sorry, I've been practicing with beatbox scores this morning and uh, I've become obsessed with it. <laughs> so I can't do it very well yet. Anyway, let's get on with the review. Before we do this review, can you have a look at my membership site, please? Or afterwards, or in between. Pause and have a look, open up another tab. Pop back here, if you will. It's, uh, no, do this first, probably. OnlineMagic.co is my membership site. A whole course on the Royal Road to Card Magic, first 200 pages. You get loads of courses in there. You get uh, SpongeBall Magic, Coin Magic, Rope Magic, Card Magic, of course, and a handle cards if you've never even handled cards before. Loads and loads of stuff. Live sessions most weeks. Uh, and they're all uploaded, so there's like 160 odd of them now, or 150 odd. And special guest David Williamson, Luch has been on. We're going to talk about him, of course, and uh, many other people. Not just David Williamson, Luch, like loads of people. Okay, this is Proper Lopes, and this is a ready to go, reusable version of the classic routine that I have had much experience with highs and lows, which is the free envelope, envelope test four-dimensional telepathy, Ted Anneman, uh, studied and published on very much uh, by Bob Cassidy. He's written a whole book, a PDF which you can get on library.com, which is Journey into the Fourth Dimension. It's just an absolute classic routine. It, for me, it's like the cups and balls of mentalism. And someone said this to me once, can't remember who it was. It might have even been Looch. No, it wasn't. Who was it? Oh, I think it might have been Bob Pierce, Wildfelt, Wellfelt. Anyway, that's irrelevant. This is the free envelope test where you get three people on stage or in the audience. Each of them writes something or draws something and you tell them what they've drawn. It's a mind reading routine, one ahead routine. It's the cups and balls of magic of mentalism to me because it's at stripped down, it's a great routine, but you can just add so much to it. There is so much space to perform. You've got three people there, potentially 10 or more minutes of material on stage. It plays so big, it's just a stunner. And it is a classic for a reason. Uh, it tends to be Bob Cassidy does it with uh, someone you went to school with, a family pet, the second person, or the other way around, and the last one is the drawing duplication. It's just great. And I said I've had highs and lows with this. I've gone back to this over 20 years recently. And in my first one-man show, probably 20 years ago, terrifyingly, maybe a little bit less, I felt like it was a routine that didn't work because I wasn't getting responses. Then talking to the audience afterwards, they said, no, that was our favourite bit. We just couldn't get our heads around it. It blows people away. It uses no technology. And I highly suggest, if you're interested in mentalism, having a look at this. And, by the way, having a look at Luch's membership site, uh, my mind rocks. www. Don't have to say that anymore, dear. <laughs> my mind dot rocks. I've just had a quick look through. I had a look through when he just started it. There have been loads of people on there. He takes one of his or somebody else's routine, classic routine, really breaks it down. Has live sessions on it. Published publishes those like I do. And again, for those people at any level of mentalism, do have a look at it. Um, him and Moreau Dantes talk about it at the beginning of this download very briefly and you really, a lot of people don't know about it and uh, you need to check it out, mymind.rocks. Yes. Um, so the problem I've had with four-dimensional telepathy is there are many, many, many ways of doing it. Bob Cassidy did it with just a flapless envelope for a while. You don't need anything, just cut, flap off an envelope and then um, no consistency there. And then with envelope, envelope, not with Bob, Bob Cassidy's routine. Um, I used a shacks and flap, which I just think is a, just a wonderful way to switch a, a piece of information, which I won't go into here. And I'm really glad that this takes that method, not because I do it, and I, I just because I think it's one of the best methods you can do. The problems I've had with it, and many people will not have these problems, it's just the way my brain works, is that I have, and I, I think I've got some footage, I've always had some sort of issue, and this is, again, because of me. I've prepared it and then things have stuck together. I've tried to, when you put the flap down with a gimmick, sometimes it didn't stick. So I've tried so many different things, but then that made all the envelopes stick together. I've done it once and misnumbered them. Um, and that was horrible. If those of you that know the routine, 
I, I have done it well quite a lot of times, but it's always been one of those things that I've always felt nervous about just because the amount of times it has gone wrong. Again, it is not a difficult routine, maybe a difficult r routine to perform well, but there's no real difficulty in there unless, <laughs> unless you've got a brain like mine. This answers so many of those questions, uh, those issues. It, it might even solve them, maybe. First of all, this is big, right? You get these big envelopes, which you may think, well, they don't like, look like normal envelopes. Well, I've seen this live, and I've actually saw, I was in the audience on the download, Luch shows a performance, and I'm glad he's shown a performance where he had some issues, not really big issues, but some things kind of that usually work, didn't really work out, he had to kind of rush it, and I'm glad he showed that one and he talks about that. So he talks about a flawed performance, again, not really his fault or anybody else's fault, just a situation, because it was before Electra and he had to rush it, and I like that because it shows you that you know, not at its very best, it's still a stunning thing. And I watched that performance and just thought, oh, it's so great. And I just couldn't see what he was doing because of the, these, they're so big. So when you've got big envelopes like this, I'm just going to make sure I don't expose anything here. When you've got big envelopes like this, in, first of all, it makes it easier, it makes it bigger, and it does play really big even with smaller envelopes, but it, it this kind of feels like there's less to see because they're so open, they're just here, they're massive, so it feels like there couldn't be any kind of sleight of hand, and I know, you know, if, you, if you're doing a full mentalism show, people might not go down that route anyway, but if you're doing a magic show and you have a mentalism routine in it like I did, they might be looking for something, very rarely, but you never know. But just for peace of mind, they're just so big and bold that you just don't see how anything can happen. And what does happen is incredibly bold, but incredibly easy. So there's going to be, this basically takes the shacks and flat, makes it a permanent thing, puts it into an envelope that's all one piece of, it's not card, it's these polypropylene, oh, something like that. It's kind of plasticky, it's going to last a long time, it's durable, you do have to be Careful with it a little bit, as he says, because of the way it's made, but that's okay because you get a lovely box to keep them in, which is purposely unbranded, and you can also put them in a more permanent box. But all that gimmickry is ready to go, and if you do it with the shacks and flap, you have to remake it every time or remake a load of them. That's fine, but if you're an idiot like me, you might do that wrong, as I have done a few times. This gets rid of the other thing of having to, how can I say, if you get the, you, what, you get the information you need so much more easily. And this came from an idea where Luke saw Luke Jermaine lecture in Sheffield that kind of cuts out one little bit of it, that again, isn't problematic, but it just cuts out a phase of it. You've just got this, it's right there and you don't have to rush it. You know, when you get the information, you usually have to look at it fairly quickly. Again, not rush, but this time you've got all the time in the world. You can go back to it if you forget it, which is so important for me. Just great. And that, solves one issue for me. They all sticking together a bit, the making, it's not one issue, it's loads, the making of it, the the possibility of forgetting some information if you're in the kind of heat of it and you're improvising around it, just great. So I don't know, you know, if you've performed like me, I like to get to a gig very early, but sometimes things happen and you're kind of rushed to set up. The fact that this is all ready to go is just great. He provides you with the envelopes two and oh there's one on the gimmicked envelopes as well there's a detail with a double fold i'll just say that which answers again which solves the questions and the fact of velcro I mean, it's just more and more i keep thinking about so you know the original bob Casty thing he had this gag where they would lick the envelope which is quite funny but it, again you can't really do that now do you lick it i did the thing of buying the kind of recent the just glue, I tried rubber cement, I tried all the different stuff, but again, I'd either put too much of it on or it, there was some issue with it. This just Velcro straight down, boom, it's there. So when you pull it out and you do what you've got to do, you just hand it to them and there's just no messing around. You know, you hold it up to the light, you do all that stuff, you can't see anything through and there are, you know, powerful lights in here. So it's just clean, clean, clean. He provides you with uh, some of these to practice with and use but also the PDF to make up yourself, gives you hints on performing. Him and Moreau talk about the different performances of it, but again, I, it's a simple routine, and it's a, on the bare bones of it, you can put some really, really good meat. Uh, <laughs> um, so, I really love this. I've had it for a while, I finally got to look at it, and I'm so glad I did. 
four dimensional telep telepathy or four DT as Luch calls it is something I keep going back to, keep saying I'm not going to do it again, it's just icky, keep going back to with this, I am all over it. I'm going back to it again. If you've seen me perform live in all of my one man shows, I have this routine. And it's all been a bit of a mess, <laughs> but it works in the end. And like I said, I will put, I'll try and find the footage of me getting them all stuck together and, and, uh, and struggling to get them apart. But even with that, it's still absolutely stormed. So you've got a routine here, which plays just as strong as anything with any technology, a couple of grams worth of technology, few envelopes at its most basic, a simplified version, which simplifies the performance of it, but not the routine and the effect. And it's so customizable, this routine. You can, you know, you'll get them to give you free pieces of information. So that can fit any theme you want. It can fit a corporate event. Um, you want to talk about them, what they do at work or what they do in their lives. I used it to talk about a moment in their life which seemed insignificant but changed everything for them. So think about a moment in your life. I also did it where I say some people uh, tend to remember things in images. Some people remember things in emotions. Some people remember things and the other people in there so one person did an image one people wrote an emotion and one people one people uh one person um uh named someone else that was there and then it gives you this like so many good mentalism routines it gives you this oh, space to play and go cold read and practice and again if you don't quite get the hits you've got the banger of a routine finale to fall back on it is a brilliant routine and if you're interested in mentalism, I really highly recommend it. And, you know, for you, you can do it in close up with these without a doubt. But I think I love the fact it's so big and bold and gives you time to not panic like I have many, many times. So and, and Luch has helped me. <laughs> you know, I've, when I was doing four dimensional stuff for you before these, he bought these out, I, I was constantly on, on the text wing going, yeah, but what, it's keeping stuck together. What can I do? And can you help me do this? And. He'd give me all the hints and tips. Some of them I did, some of them I wish I had, and now I don't have to because I've got these. So thanks very much, Luch, for making this. Check out all of Luch's stuff. Luch is one of those people who is so nice and lovely, we forget how very good he is. He's a designer, you know, by, by trade. Is that the right word? He teaches design, so he's put a lot into the design, the look, the feel, the durability, and very importantly, the practicality of these. Check out the routine if you haven't. Check out mymind.rocks and check out these uh, proper loops. I hope I haven't called them bonza loops in this. I keep nearly calling them bonza loops. I'll have to have a look. Thanks very much. Um, as well as mymind.rocks, have a look at onlinemagic.co, please. Like and subscribe, check out the podcast. I'm gonna edit another one today, another one with lovely Noel Cors, who's very funny, and very, very uh, interesting about magic conventions. So that should be out soon, Steve Faulkner's Magic Show, and uh, Instagram, at Steve Faulkner. I do have the at Real Magic Review thing, but I think most of my stuff, my stories and uh, etc. Like me breaking a bottle of wine all over the floor in here the other day is on at Steve Faulkner. All right, Facebook at, oh, don't bother, Steve Faulkner as well. Take care. <laughs> See you later. I don't know what I've got that for. Bye. <laughs>